Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life. Have you ever seen reverse decoupage? We're gonna take plain glass bowls and turn them into stunning pieces of home decor. The end result is absolutely beautiful, so you don't wanna miss how I do this reverse technique. We've got lots of work. Let's get started. I thrifted this glass bowl for 79 cents, and you're gonna need some Mod Podge. You can either use matte or gloss, and a couple napkins, and a little paintbrush. The first thing I do before I Mod Podge anything with glass is I use an alcohol wipe. These are actually the ones that you can buy to clean your glasses and they work really well for making sure that there's no grease or stains or anything on your bowl and leave a nice clean working surface. Now you can use any napkins. I picked these up at the dollar store quite a while ago and I'm gonna use two different patterns and you just wanna use the top layer of the napkin so you wanna Take the other two layers apart and get ready to put it on your bowl. And you want to cut your napkin so it's just a little bit bigger than the bowl itself. Now when we go to Mod Podge this on the bowl, you want to make sure the pattern is facing inside so you can see it on the inside of the bowl. And now we're ready to apply the Mod Podge. Now I find myself, I don't like to put any Mod Podge on the actual glass bowl. I like to put it right on top of the napkin and it will soak right through into the glass bowl and then adhere to it. And I'm just going to do very small strokes working towards the edge of the bowl. Be very gentle. You don't want to put too much pressure on and then rip the napkin. So you just practice. It takes a little bit of a knack to know how hard you want to push down and how much Mod Podge to put on. But as you can see, I have quite a liberal amount that I'm putting on and I'm just working from the center of the bowl to the rim before it starts to go down. And now I'm gonna start working down the sides of the bowl. Now with this project, we're gonna embrace the wrinkles a little bit. You're going to get some wrinkles because the bowl is round and the napkin is going to have folds in it. It's gonna have a little bit of wrinkles. I actually kind of like that look. So just take your time and then just work, always working down towards the bottom of the bowl. Don't bring your brush up. Just push the Mod Podge into the napkin lightly and push down. And if you have a little wrinkle or a little bubble, just work it out and work it down. You can do this exact same process on a glass plate also and you wouldn't have as many wrinkles and as many little folds in the napkin because you're working with a flat surface but because we're working with a round bowl you're going to have a little bit of wrinkles and napkins so don't think you're going to do this and then not have any. Now to make it easier to put the Mod Podge on around the last little bit of the rim, I'm going to put it on another glass jar so it sits up off the table and it's easier to press it down. And this is where you might see some of your little wrinkles show up in when you're, or creases in your napkin when you're applying the last little bit of the Mod Podge. That's okay, That it looks nice when it's all finished. Now I've let it completely dry overnight and I'm gonna use my 120 sanding block and I'm gonna get rid of all that excess napkin around the edges and I'm gonna very gently sand it, making sure that I'm using the sanding block in an upward motion. You don't wanna push it down. If you do, you'll pull the napkin away from the bowl. You wanna sand upwards. And now the edge is nice and blended. You can see a little bit of white streaking from the Mod Podge. That's okay because the next coat will cover all of that up and you won't see it. I'm gonna take my homemade chalk paint and I'm gonna paint the entire bowl over the whole outside surface. I'm doing this because I wanna put the other napkin on top of it and if I just put the napkin on top of it without the paint, you wouldn't be able to see and it would all mesh in and it wouldn't look very nice. So doing this white coat, it will leave a nice base for the next napkin to go on top of it. I'll put a link below in the description for my favorite chalk paint recipe. 
I've let it dry completely and you can see the white shows through really nice on that pattern napkin and I'm just gonna take my sanding block that 120 sanding block and just lightly in case there's little bits and pieces that are high that I don't want the napkin to catch on just give it a nice light sanding and now we're ready to put the other napkin on and again you want to cut this just a little bit bigger than the actual bowl and you want to make sure when you're applying this napkin that you put the pattern to the outside so you can see it on the outside of the bowl. And now we're going to do the same process that we did with the other napkin. You're going to work from the center and just work your way down along the sides of the bowl. And again, you're going to have some little wrinkles and little creases by the time you get to the bottom of the bowl. That's okay. It looks fantastic when it's all done. This is something that you can just kind of play around with and just kind of get the feel of it. And if for some reason you've applied your napkin, you don't like the way that it works, you can always just put it in a hot soapy sink full of water, soak it off and start again. Now I've let that completely dry overnight and we're ready to take the sander again and sand off all those extra edges of the napkin, making sure you don't scrape it down. You want to scrape it towards the inside of the bowl so you're not pulling that napkin away from it. And it's all finished. Now we just need to put the finishing coat on. I like to use a Varathane water-based matte finish. I find it is nice and hard. It doesn't leave any brush streaks and it's really easy to dust. Now this is not going to be dishwasher safe. It's just for decor, like I said before. You could do this project with the Mod Podge dishwasher safe product and it will work for you. That's up to you of how you want to use your bowl. And it's all finished and I love it. And I think it looks fantastic with the little scalloped edge on the bowl. And I love the way the two napkins worked really well together. And I did another one, the exact same bowl, but with the same napkins. And I did the rose pattern and I love the way it turned out also. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I've inspired you to try this technique yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day.